Rose, psychic, investigators. I'm Rose, psychic, investigators. 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 Well, okay, so let's project. Okay, project here. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna get started <laughs> projecting <laughs> the light. I breathe in a ray <laughs> of light into my lungs. I exhale <laughs> this light and create a full circle. <laughs> The circle is right in front of me. Huh? I step right into it. Huh? I step into it and I feel and I feel connected. I invite everybody in. Hmm. I step into the circle and feel connected. I invite everybody in. Hmm. We're all protected. We're all connected in, inside the bubble of light. We're ready right here. We're ready right now. We're ready hmm, to start. Hmm. We need to find out the information. Huh? Only from the highest. Only from the highest source. Find out the info. Find out the information. Huh? From the highest source only. Find out the information. Huh? Only from the highest source. That it may create the good, the good and only the good, huh? For all involved, for all of us, for all the people we ask, create the good for the good people, create the bad for the bad guy, create the good for the good people, create the bad for the bad guys. Whew. So now. <laughs> It's so funny. I have to create a little, a little song, a little song, <laughs> so we can get started. It's nice, you know. It feels it's like a little, little song beginning. Okay, so now let's start. Madeline Westerhout, huh? Girl, what did you see? Huh? Madeline Westerhout, you were fired last week. Madeline Westerhout, what did you see? Huh? Madeline Westerhout, you were fired last week. Yes, you were. What do you know about President Trump? What can you tell us? What are you gonna tell the world about him? What are you gonna tell us? Will you collaborate with investigations? Will you tell the truth? Will you collaborate with investigations? Will you tell the truth? Do you like him or are you? Do you like him or are you angry? Do you hate or do you hate them all? Huh? What you got to say, Madeline Westerhout? You were fired last week. <laughs> okay. So okay, now let's get that idea here. So guys, what does she know? Okay, what does she know? Right? Is that a good question? What does she know, or what is she gonna say? Okay, let's tell us about Madeline. Tell us about Madeline Westerhout. Tell us about Madeline Westerhout. Okay. <laughs> oh, Rose is kind of strange. I know she thinks things. <laughs> She's a little weird. Weird, I think. She's weird, don't you think? Yeah. Okay, so what's up with her? What's up with her? Oh, she's nice. She's like Perezdana. Okay, so let's see here, guys. Okay, so first, uh, as usual, oh, look. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, so it's funny because now I got used to the setup of the, of the, <clears throat> the co-working space, so I turned the computer a specific way. So, <clears throat> very interesting already, but, I, you know, let me, let me hear, see. Oh, guys, I got my... Let me hear, let me hear, good, here. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's kind of right away, guys, already, even before I do some sort of like, a, you know, sort of a bigger analysis. This is a card of factions, okay? This is a card of competitive environments of factions, and this is the among the loyalists, and this is treachery, right? The treacherous loyalists of Trump, and this, now, this could mean that she, quote, unquote, read the, hit the road, but it could also mean Electron. <laughs> so let's see what she's going to do about it, right? So so it's like a very cutthroat environment. And before, you know, like I said, I'm still looking here. I don't know guys yet, you know, what the other cards are going to say, but I get a feeling, very strong feeling that she's, you know, sometimes in, in interpersonal relationships, when a person tells the truth that they were not supposed to tell, but it's because it's, you know, they call it sometimes the Freudian slip, okay. Or that she, you know what I mean? I feel like she kind of was fed up with the dynamics and the way she was treated. And I was kind of like a kind of an almost an unconscious way to leave. You know what I mean? Oh, it's so interesting because the card that fell is perfect for it's a negative gossip. Wow. Okay, so so just oh, it's weird because there's a I almost can't see. I feel like you guys probably can't see this because it's so bright. You know what? Let me just see here and push the car. Yeah, it's still a little too bright on in this way. Oh, look, a little short. <laughs> so anyway, but let me just try to see this here. Okay, so so this is yeah right. Let's see how you see it. Is that right? Um, yeah, this is the correct way. So these are all upside down right for you guys um and then the fox so so it shows that this is it this is a so so factions the wheel of fortune upside down and going all the way willing to do anything so i feel like she fell out of favor among the people the loyalists in the white house because there's a lot of treachery involved so she this is a card of choices or hit the road it is sometimes also the card so the loyal people the group there in the white house it could also it almost suggests guys that she this is a card of the, that they they kind of cannot were conniving and kind of made her you know i'm not saying she didn't say the thing she said but it's almost like they were ready they were looking for 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 something to make her leave now this is viaggio it means something foreign but it could also mean that she goes away the fortuna means fortune like okay now this is the domestic or the fake servant okay so so it could we'll, we'll look in more into it but i feel like they could have found that she was ready to go because she was not as loyal as she was expected to be and here we have the card of gossip well when it's upside down it's worse it's like they're creating malicious gossip and this is a card of weight um and that she was you know it's almost like she this is too late or like she may have had other plans but it's too late and this is there's money upside down so some sort of shady money or money involved in something here okay so so this is a story okay again what i find interesting you have the fortune two two fortune cards so it's almost it, what i you know sometimes like i said sometimes cards have this very direct way of talking so i feel like in some ways even though she you know she was out of favor with the people in the white house it looks like maybe her fortune could go up if she leaves now that she's i mean she has left already but um I want to know more about, you know, you know what I mean? Like about this. So, so I'll say here guys. Okay. So let's say, oh my God. So I'm just thinking guys, you know, it's I'm kind of interested here in the sense, like, I want to know, like I said, clearly they didn't like her for some reason. I know by that, I mean, Jarada and Ivanka, right? So what is, you know, I, and what is this money? I'm kind of interested in this, guys. Can I tell about this shirt? So this shirt, I literally, like, on Twitter, I saw somebody wearing a shirt. Like, it was, I was a guy. I think it was, like, a gay guy. He was wearing this shirt. And I was like, oh, my God, I love it. It's the, it's, let me show you. Get up here a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can get up. Okay. You can see it. Like, look, resist, right? So it's, like, the, the superwoman. And so I literally Googled superwoman resist t-shirt and it show it and i went to the website and it's like i think it was like 16 dollars or something plus shipping so it's good no i mean it's cool i like it um so anyway so this is it so it's a sign so anyway 
So this is a guy. So now let me go back to her, to to this woman. So is she? What does she know? What what? Okay, first of all, what is this the card about the money? And what was this stuff will happen here? Tell us more about it. Okay, so so I feel like, guys, you know, what I sense here is that she was out of, I seriously see Jared and Ivanka not liking her. Because, you know, not, I'm not, as I told you guys, nobody likes them anyway. It's, these are, they are the hardest, like, they are the hardest thing about, from people who like Trump, the hardest thing about Trump is them. Okay, so, so, so they don't, I feel like they push people to do certain things that they don't want to do. And they do it on purpose, like a test, okay? And I just feel feel like she felt like she, you know, sometimes, you know, the two things I got about her, A, you know, sometimes you get like you in a in a job and you feel like you, you should be promoted and you were not promoted and you get angry, you know what I mean? And I feel like that is like where she, she feel like she was passed over for some things where she was treated like she was an idiot by Jared and Ivanka, you know? So she, I feel like she's kind of offended by her job. Like a lot of the things she has to do, she doesn't like it. And, you know, like, I think a lot of people who believe in Trump externally first, they realize that it's like, it's a game. And it's like, there's something she really doesn't like about how they treat Trump, Jared and Ivanka treat Trump and some of the things that, they do, I don't know, she's noticed the inter, their inter, this oh, is telling me here, this is why she said the things she said about the family, because she sees that the, she feels, you know, and this is a guy, it's not me, right, because I don't like Trump, but she's saying she feels like they mistreat him, or they push him around or something, you know, or like they make him do things. She, I feel like she sees that he's sick and that they exploit it, okay? So she doesn't, there's something like about it that she doesn't like, okay? She's like, yeah, and it's almost like, you know, sometimes when you have the nagging feeling that you should quit the job, and that's what happened to her. That was kind of one of the situations that it, it, it made, they were already setting her up to be fired. And I, oh, and I, oh, this is, oh, now I get it. I feel like she saw something connected to Jared and Ivanka about the money. That was the money, okay, the money thing. And I feel like once they noticed that she noticed, then she was on their list, on their shit list. You know what I mean? So, so because she knew, she knew about the game, some sort of scheme. Interesting, no? Interesting. So she's like, this is, for her, she's like, I'm gonna get Jared. Huh. Jared and Ivanka. Huh. I'm gonna take them down. <laughs> Those bitches <laughs> better wait. Because huh. I'm coming huh. for them. <laughs> When the time comes, I'm gonna tell all, all the shady secrets for everyone. Yeah, I feel like I feel like she knows something, guys, and that's her weapon. And that is ultimately why, why um, you know, guys, why isn't that fascinating? Isn't that fascinating? Why she she actually feels kind of happy that she's not there, but she's like, bitches, I got something. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I have it. I have it. I have it. Oh, I have it. I have it. So, okay, so let's go here, let's see here. So, so interesting now, so what, what's next for her now? Let's go, what's next for her? Oh, interesting, causing an ending, that's right. Oh, look, interesting guys, and she's angry. Look, she's angry, oh yeah, money again. Interesting guys, I feel like she, I don't, I don't wanna talk bitches, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to talk. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh -huh. oh yeah. Letter to government to somebody mm, for a long time, money for a long time, huh? Interesting. Interesting. And for, oh, oh no, burning building, huh? <laughs> no, no. So does she? You know, I want to burn the building. I'm burning the building. I'm, you know, guys. You know, so interesting. Burning bridges. You know, interesting. I'm burning building. I'm burning bridges. I burn anything. I bought into many things, but it's just people's. <laughs> so, isn't that interesting? It's very fascinating. 
oh look oh that's why you that's right the bitches uh-huh oh yeah so look how fascinating so this grazia through what the the quid pro quo and this is legerezza now legerezza means not serious so i almost feel like she know you know like a lot of people around trump that are smart like they're treated like shit. oh look oh my god look white house upside down for them oh yeah oh yeah so oh my god again gifts upside down so she she plays dumb or she's treated like she's dumb but she's not as dumb okay look the money so i feel like there is something here where where she feels like this is creating and ending a document that could create disgrace to the white house and it's angry that tower could be trump tower could be the government you know it could be also law and again this is about quid pro quo and it's upside down so owing money and this is somebody with a money who has the anchor in other words been around for a long time not serious and lacking money like some trying to save money so you see what i'm saying so ways in which people in the white house made money extra i need extra dollars call me i need the extra dollars i have information i have it i hate them oh the, I, have, I need them for, guys I'm, I'm joking but i can almost see her she's like hi 60 minutes i i have information i have she's dying to talk and did you see did you see that the first thing that trump said he was like oh she has an nda yeah because like why would he care if he has an nda or not because he, she knows crime i know crimes i know crimes i know crimes right so this is it i know crime i know crime <laughs> So, oh my God, guys, interesting. Oh, so I feel like she wants to talk. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just okay. So what next? What's next? She's like, yeah, no, I'm. Oh, you know, it's guys. I swear, I, I, yeah, as you know, I don't like Ivanka or Jared, but I get, I get that she hates them, and she wants to take them. I mean, I feel like it's almost naive of her to say it to do this because they're, you know, they have like other backers, you know. But I feel like she's done with them. She, you know, sometimes, like I was telling you guys, you know, sometimes when you have a job that you hate and you like hate your coworker, like I don't think I've had like, but you know, sometimes when there's people like you cry, you cry every day, every day of your life, you go home and cry. That's kind of the feeling, but a hundred times worse. She hates them. She hates them. And so she's like, she feels like they set her up and that she needs to get the, the thing straight. Okay. So she's, guys, I'm seeing her getting lawyered up. I have lawyers. I'm getting a lawyer. I have my own lawyers. I have lawyers. Oh yeah. I have my own. I have my own lawyers. I have lawyers. Because she wants to talk. That's it. So, oh my God. So is she gonna tell is she, what is she gonna what kind of damage is she gonna do? Is she gonna do any damage or or not? Or what kind of damage? Hmm? Hello, Jarada. This is me, Madalena. Madalena. I uh <laughs> I have information. Yeah, I know about you. I know about you. Mm -hmm. Look, I have some glasses for you, Jared. Here. Look, this is you. Uh huh. Jared, this is me, Madeline. <laughs> I know all about you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, my God. She's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I got it. <laughs> so, so, what kind of damage is she going to do? What kind of? Oh my God! Is she she cried the night Trump won the White House? How funny! So what, is she, what kind of damage is she gonna do? Is she, is she gonna get him to prison? Huh? Oh, burden, burden. I know a lot. You know, burden, guys. This is a card of the person who's holding up. I'm holding a lot inside. I have stress. I know information. I have a lot inside of me. I have a lot inside of me that I wanna get out of my chest. I got a lot inside of me, but I want to get out of my chest. It all goes back to the kids. It all goes back to the past. This is my judgment. I have seen things. This is my time to tell. Huh? What else? I know about deals with that lady. That lady could well be Russia. Huh? I know about deals with the White House. Call me, huh? And I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. The live song. Okay. I got some sad information. Information that will make you cry, huh? It has to do 
with money, huh? It has to do with bank accounts. When you find out what I gotta say, you are gonna cry, huh? You are gonna get depressed, baby, cause I know about the money, all right, huh? Oh, oh, interesting, I like it. Oh my God, what? Interesting. Now, this is actually kind of interesting because I feel like, again, she knows, she seems to know something about the past. I don't think she's worked for Trump for that long, but it sounds like she, you know, she knows informations about the deal. Okay. She knows it. What else? Here's the, here's the man with the justice robe. He's ready to call me. Huh? I know about the shady deal. I'm ready to talk oh guys look this is the military upside down it's the, i think it's the election attack so i'm ready to talk about what happened i know a lot more huh <laughs> oh yeah so the question is what damage did she do so guys i feel like again this has to do with you know whenever in the trump situation somebody has information that is financial it's a big deal so so you see what i'm saying so this is she knows a lot about the kids and negative judgment in other words she thinks negatively about them and she knows about the deal that will be very upsetting if she if it goes to the law if it goes to the legal people and this is about again the kids and the deals that has to do with bank accounts that have to do with the shade you know what i mean that that mean the shady deal and the shady deal what is it connected to to the military attack in other words the election so she know i know I'm going to make Jared cry. This was this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to make Jared cry. Huh? This is what I'm going to This is what I'm going to This is what I'm going to do. Huh? I'm going to make Jared cry. This is what I'm going to do. Uh-huh. Huh. So Interesting. I got. I like her. I like her. I like her. So she, guys. I feel like okay. But does she? Does she have the information? What does she have? Because you know, guys. Obviously, it can't be. He said. She said. It has to be more. Does she have any document? Okay. Okay. So so does she have any actual information? What does she have with her? Guys, I see her opening. Oh, interesting. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. So you know what I see, guys? She took I took picture. I have a cell phone. I took it. She took pictures with her cell phone of informations. I don't think she, you know, she could. I don't know explaining. She's I see she said she sees these bills. Almost like credit card bills. There were some sort of bills things that she knows. She took pictures. Like she can't take the bills themselves. That would be, I guess, stealing or something, but she knows this is informations. I know it. I see it. Yeah, I know it. Oh yeah. And I feel like she could even have recorded. I have recorded conversations. I have it. I recorded. And that makes sense, guys. Why Trump was talking about the stuff that she knows. So okay. So now changing the question, but adding to it, what is Trump afraid that she may know? What What does Trump think? Because it, don't you think this was a little bit unusual, guys? So don't you think it's a little unusual that she would? that trump would say that the thing about the D everybody knows it's not enforceable okay so why what was trump is afraid of okay what is trump afraid of now that she left okay what does he know what, what i'm sorry what is what are you afraid of oh money information interesting no interesting oh really no he's he's, he's very honest i love him oh message that's right financial message about um, i have message about money wrong focus wrong financial focus okay so let's see her. i'm afraid that she's gonna go to the public and tell oh i'm afraid to tell all about my money my money transfers they are hidden behind the clouds but madeline knows everything huh okay oh I was drinking the Kool-Aid. There's a man. So it could be it could be many people, as you know. Oh, look. Oh. I'm gonna have to leave. Oh, interesting. Interesting, no? Oh my god. Oh. That, guys, guys, not interesting because this is a card of leaving, okay? Somebody leaving. Her, you know, and I feel like, oh, I wonder who's man? Who's man here? 
right? So this is the group of people that are connected to Trump. She could make public this like a lot of shady money here. So public information about the change or about transfers in the clouds, like it could be in the clouds, could be hidden behind the scenes on the computer, could also be, I think, hidden behind the scenes. And it's shady money, as we know. You know what I mean? Because this is, do you see, guys? Oh, I'm sorry, it's upside down. So it's the revelation of, because upside down is revelation of the hidden money transfers. Okay. So, what did I say? Oh, look, guys, Trump is thinking. Look at the two thief cards. There she is. He has his thinking. She knows about theft. Oh, look, worry. He's worried. What is this card? The card is about what is on his, what is he worried about? He's worried about the transfers, the financial. Oh, look, about the, the okay, so the, interesting. This is a card. This is a card of, uh, you know, guys, I used to not care about this card, the flatterer. But if you think of the flatterer, I, you, you know, I used to think that the Trump was this person, but Trump is this person, the person who's flattering somebody else. Who is this flattering? The people that got him money. OK, so he's worried about the shady stuff that went on and why he's bending over for someone. Right. That's what I think. Guys. I used to think that people know, but he is always uh, trying to flatter somebody else. And it's the people he's trying to flatter. She, In other words, she knows why he bends over for people like Putin. OK, and that's obviously a very big deal. Wow. So, wow. Isn't that amazing, guys? So I'm just thinking, guys, I'm just thinking here. Okay. So what, okay. What is she? I'm prepared. She's like, yeah, guys, I swear she's prepared to talk. She wants to talk. Cause you know what, you know what I'm thinking, guys, something about her. She was happy that she was promoted, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Like she knew she was doing something wrong, like not wrong in the terms of anything sort of like illegal, but she knew her heart, she should not be there. And she realizes like she, I think she could be one of the people that flips on Trump for real. Like she wants to talk, but this is a dangerous moment. Okay. So, so, okay. So what, okay. What is she gonna, okay. Where is she gonna be? I'm just trying to think. I, let me just ask, okay. Is she gonna, is she gonna betray Trump? Okay, is she gonna betray Trump and and tall? I, that's what it looks like. But I just won't call for Americans. Is she gonna really betray Trump in public? And I don't know. You know what? I'm just trying to think, guys, because I think right now, when is she gonna? Let me, okay. So when is she gonna talk now? Who is she gonna talk to first? FBI? Oh, the House. She wants to go talk in the House. I wanna go. I wanna. I wanna go. I wanna talk in the House of Representatives. I wanna talk. I wanna talk. Oh yeah. I worry for her, like honestly, like her, you know what I mean? Like those those thugs or whatever. So, so like she's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to talk. I thought she was gonna write a book or something, but now she's like, she she has this sense, like a, like now makes sense, you know, the cards I saw that is great. She she has a very strong focus that she wants to tell the truth now. Oh, what is she gonna okay? What is she gonna do? What like what it is like what is she gonna do? Like, oh my god. Wow. Um What's now? Okay, I saw what's next. She wants to do this. So, so is she going to talk? And who is she going to talk to? I think the FBI, but first she's going to go to the house. Is she going to talk to the house in public or go to the house of representatives in front of their house? Huh? Okay. Oh, okay. So, oh, new beginning. That's right. New beginning, girl. New beginning. <laughs> I have good counsel. I accepted an offer, huh? I br this is the card, guys, of bring somebody bringing the news. I bring the news. I am the key witness. This is the key important. Oh my God! And I'm gonna talk. Roses having goosebumps, cause this is the card to talk. Like she is, she the the news. She's the habit the harbinger of, of big news because she's gonna talk. That's is literally what it's saying. Okay, so. Success upside down. Okay. Oh, angry, angry. Oh my God. Something shady pop that was okay. Uh, let me just. Oh my God. Look though again. The White House upside down. To second time it shows. Facade. Okay. Oh my God. The woman upside down. Yes. Yeah, so let I me mean, just one more here. Yeah. This so the guy is confidential. So I feel like she talks about sh like private. Um, deals okay this is all confidential that happened in this is uh the the the, the country houses stuff that happens in the in the private realm again another card of the private 
And I think this could be her. Like she heard it. She was privy to it. Okay. And she talks to this person. I think it could very well be somebody. This is a balanced man. It could be Adam, Adam through somebody because she's, you know, interesting. She's angry because she, but she talks about the facade. Okay. So interesting. Oh, interesting. So let me just see here. Where is she talking? Okay. What is she talking? Where is she talking? Guys, I feel like she, I feel like for two things, Trump is going to get word that she's, she wants to talk. Okay. So that's one thing, but I feel like ultimately she is not going to talk right now. After Trump leaves, there are going to be hearings. She's definitely going to talk then. And people, are, guys, oh my God, oh my God, can I tell you? I'm very happy because I feel like, you know how like all the Trump people are anti, you know, they hate women, right? Or they, they minimize women. They think women, oh, women, she just, she just needs to get married, have a husband and a child or whatever, you know, like how it is. So they're going to be like, I can't believe this girl she had the nerve to tell the truth like you know so she's gonna be she's gonna be known as somebody who's like oh look at this woman she she was the assistant and she told the truth as the, and i'm remembering i i don't know the details of nixon but i remember the nixon secretary right she also told some things that were important okay so so i feel like this is the thing i feel like trump is gonna get word that she's gonna talk it's a, a one of the things but it suggests that like um, you know, that, um, how do I say this? It suggests, I think she's gonna, she's, she's not either. She guys, I feel like she's going to make money from this stuff from talking about Trump. Okay. She's going to write a book. She's going you know I mean? to have a career out of it. Honestly. So she shouldn't worry too. If she's worried, she's not going to worry too much. Okay. So interesting for the mayor. Interesting. 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 Interesting information. Interesting. I was like, oh my God, this is so annoying, this thing. Okay, look at that. It's a cable. So it's like the microwave thing. Okay, so. Oh my God. So, oh my God. So this is it. Okay, I feel like she's she's decided, but I feel like it's something that she was thinking about a lot. And she decided that she's going to talk. It's kind of interesting. And I, you know, Oh my God, it's fascinating because I feel like, you know what's so interesting? I also never got the sense that, for example, Hope Hicks was was passive either. And it's it's a very ironic thing that a lot of strong women end up working for Trump for some reason. Okay. So, you know, or that they kind of like did they're not intimidated by him in some way. It's kind of interesting. So, oh my God. So, okay, so okay. So, oh my God. Okay, so let's go here. Oh my God, guys, I'm interested, interested, no? So, guys, I feel like, okay, let me just see. Okay, let me now go to Jarada and, and Ivanka. Let me see how the mood is about the right now, the White House and her leaving. And she, oh my God, I see Jared uh, hanging up the phone. He's like, the land phone. He's like, the news isn't good. I heard she was retained by her lawyer. Somebody, you know, in one of the law firms, um, is it told Jared that she got, she's like, Oh, she hired such and such. So, so, so she, she okay. So, so it's already, it's already like, on, you know, uh, what is it called? I heard, you know, the, I heard on the grapevine that she's already lured up. So let's see what guys. And I, Oh my God, I swear. I see Jared like calling his mafia contacts, like, Hey, shake her up, man. You know, try to scare her. But I feel like she's already possibly, call the FBI and it's like, I'm willing to be, you know, witness if you need me, whatever I could go get witness protection. She's not playing around. I'm not playing around, bitches. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. No, I'm not. No. Jared. I got the last word, bitches. Jared. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> And I see, guys, I, I feel like I see her. There's MBS. Oh, my God, isn't that weird? MBS. Um, I see her observing MBS meeting Jared in the White House. Was it, did it even go to the White House? I don't know, meeting Jared or something. Some Very interesting here, okay? I feel like she knows something big. big. Oh, my God. Hmm. <gasps> Wow, how interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that means, guys. So so anyway, so she yeah, so so this is it. He knows that she's she has something. 
So guys, and you know, as as you know, as I know, as I told everybody, knows, this is not like we don't need to be a psychic to know this. No, not, there's not one person who likes Jared. Yeah. So ha okay, um, Lisa. Okay, so has she been recording? She doesn't record everything, but she records some things. Okay. I don't think she records a lot, but she, you know, I have a sense, guys, that she's very smart. Like she knows what she knows. And I got a sense that she actually may want to go to law school eventually, or she's thinking of going to law school. And she does have an, an ear for the things that are, in, you know, in, in um, what is it, improper. So I feel like she's like, I know, bitches. I know you're committing crimes. I know. I know, bitches. I know you're committing crimes. <laughs> I've have been taking notes. I record your talking. <laughs> I know bitches. I've been taking notes. I recorded you talking. Oh yeah. So so she's just like hmm. the, and I feel guys, you know what's so fascinating is that she's learned from Trump that she always has she, she's learned from him that she needs material to blackmail, you know, the blackmail. You know what I mean? She knows that. The, the currency in that presidency is black, you know, it's like the dirt they have on others. So in order to protect herself, she got, I have dirt on everybody. I have dirt to protect me. Huh? I'm just a young girl. Huh? I need to get, I, I had to get some weapons in the Trump administration. You need to get weapons. The app weapons. Here are hot informations. Huh? I have hot informations. Huh? I have documents. So live musical. Oh my god. Anyway, it's kind of okay. So so it's interesting, guys. No, very good. So it's just like she seems. I don't know what I was expecting, and I don't know that I was expecting anything. But what I'm surprised is that she is not worried. She doesn't, I did not for once think she was worried. It's almost as if she, as if she is prepared, like she prepared herself because she knew she was being set up, guys. I swear, I feel like she was being set up by Jared and Ivanka. The moment she found, they knew that she knew some things. They're like, oh, we have to get rid of her, get rid of, get rid of her, get rid of her, okay? So, so this is interesting. They're like, and and it's saying, telling me here that Jared is so he's foolish because he's he doesn't understand he, the human, okay, human nature. He doesn't understand how people think. You know what I mean? They they're like, oh, they just have a, and this is fascinating because they're bad. They not just that they can't judge character, but they are so narcissistic that they don't understand how what motivates people and why people do certain things. Okay, so all they do is they have aggression, but that's it. So interesting, no? Oh my God. Okay, guys. So this is good, no? So I think we're ready to move on, okay? I'm going to move on. All right? Is it okay? Move on because we'll have other questions, okay?